Hello everyone, today we are replacing the 512GB NAND flash of iPhone 15 Pro. This is a brand new one. Okay, let's start the machine next. Take a look at the storage of this phone. The storage of this phone is 256GB. We activate the phone. The storage of this phone is 256GB. Now we need to change its storage to 512 grams. Next, let's test the air tightness of the iPhone. Pressure needs to reach minus 20. After reaching it, it needs to be maintained for 20 seconds. Okay, the phone doesn't leak air. Next, we start to remove the bottom screws. Put into heated display removal fixture. Evenly heats the surroundings of the phone case. After the temperature reaches the temperature, it needs to continue heating for 2 minutes. Heating completed, put down the suction cup. Adjust to appropriate position, then fix it. Slowly lift the screen. Then we'll use this pick. Then cut open the waterproof glue. The screen is already on. Next we are going to take off the phone. Wear an electrostatic bracelet. Ready to start opening the screen. The screen is already on. Let's take a look at the front camera. The front camera is a little dusty. We'll clean it up in a moment. Next we protect the face component. Start removing the screws of the protective cover. Remove protective cover. Unlock the battery cable. And screen cable. We take off the screen. Next we are going to remove the motherboard. First remove the screws that secure the motherboard. Okay now let's pry open all the cables on the motherboard. Before we prepare to remove the motherboard, there is a cable on the back of the motherboard. This cable is connected to the wireless charging coil and flash on the back case. Now we need to remove this camera and replace it. Remove the camera assembly. The rear camera is also dusty. This dust is on the lens. We also need to clean it up. Cleanup completed. Next we take off the receiver. Remove the face component. Now we are ready to remove the motherboard. Unscrew the screws of this protective cover. Remove protective cover. Pry open the cable. The motherboard has already been removed. Let's take a look at the motherboard of the iPhone 15 Pro. There are no stickers on it. There are no stickers on the front or back. Next we use heating. Remove the NAND flash. First deal with the VGA vinyl everywhere. Processing completed. We heat NAND flash evenly. After the temperature reaches, let's pry the NAND off directly. Next we add low temperature tin. Then use solder wick to smooth it. Then use an air gun and a blade to clean the vinyl. Okay, let's wipe it again. Cleanup completed. Next we add tin to the 512GB NAND flash. We use medium temperature tin at 183 degrees. Then heat the tin into a ball. Because the flash of the 15 series is very small. So blow it into a ball shape. This is the NAND flash after we processed it. Next we need to add a small amount of flux to the motherboard. Be sure not to add too much. Then apply evenly. If you add too much flux, when we add BGA vinyl, the vinyl cannot flow to the bottom of the flash. Uniform heating of NAND flash. After the temperature reaches, we touch this NAND flash. Just feel like it's rebounding. Okay installation completed. Next we drop in the black glue. We all do the trickle in twice. 
let the vinyl slowly penetrate into the bottom of the NAND flash. This is what it looked like after we finished fighting. The sides and bottom have been filled with black glue. Next we need to solidify the black glue. This equipment is needed for preheating and heating. Then weld. The welding process takes about 15 minutes. Insulation is required after welding is completed. After keeping warm, start cooling. The whole process takes more than 40 minutes. Completed. We put the foam back on the motherboard. This is the effect after curing. Next we start installing the motherboard. Fasten the cable on the back. Put this protective cover back on. Now we connect all the cables on the motherboard. Reinstall the camera. Fasten the cable. Tighten the screws. Next we need to clean up the remaining waterproof glue. A new piece of waterproof glue is needed. Cleanup completed. Replacing the face component. Replace the handset. Start tightening the screws. Then screw back the fixing screws of the motherboard. You also need to tighten the screws with a torque screwdriver. The motherboard has been installed. Next, let's clean up the remaining waterproof glue on this screen. Cleanup completed. Next we are going to apply waterproof glue. This is a brand new waterproof glue. We are currently using 14 series pallets. Now start installing back screen. Fasten the screen cable. Replace the protective cover. Install the screws first to the fixed position. Then we tighten it with a torque screwdriver. All screws torqued. Remove the protective film of waterproof glue. Next we are going to close the screen. Let's start with the screen. Then we put in the display adhesive press. Hold pressure for 30 seconds. Pressure holding completed. Next we start to tighten the bottom screws. Next, let's test the air tightness of this phone again. Check whether we have restored the original waterproof and dustproof performance of the phone after repairing it. Pressure reaches. Start and hold for 20 seconds. Air tightness restoration. Next we need to flash the machine. iPhone 12 and above models. Flashing is required after replacing NAND flash. Flashing completed. Let's take a look at the storage of this phone. It was 256 gigabytes before, now it is 512 gigabytes. Next we will reactivate it. After activation, let's check again. 512 gigabytes. 